It's about serving without expectation or want of reward. Your constitution, it is the cornerstone of the community. It is the cornerstone of this country. Great towns aren't built by people less afraid. It's about healing. It's about uplifting. You and I have to stand up and take ownership and responsibility. The Tikal and Fit, change it. Change it. Kia ora everyone. My name is Henare Ngaro O'Keefe from Hawke's Bay, New Zealand. I'm a Hastings District Councillor, a Justice of the Peace, a father, a grandfather, a husband, and a foster father to over 200 children. And in all of those roles, I've had a whole host of experiences, and I'd love the opportunity to share those with you. Hanare is one of those real once-in-a-lifetime characters that you have the pleasure of meeting. He's got a real gift and it's because he speaks from life experiences. What's in his heart, he believes and that's what he talks about. In 1971, he ended up at Tamorna Freezing Works. I was there for 23 years and it was in that Freezing Works that I learned the value of relationships. Poor materialistically, but geez, just so rich in other ways. Hinari is changing our community for the better because he walks the talk and he is building a legacy for us all to follow. He has the ability to, to completely just engage people, captivate people from all walks of life. I feel emotional just talking about Hanare, based on what he's done for the children of Hawke's Bay. And he does make you feel a little bit insignificant in the role that you play in the community because you just look at him and think, wow. <laughs> 200 foster children that come from homes where they experience things that no human on the face of this earth should experience. In those days, there was no training, no workshops, nothing. Here are the children, don't call us, we'll call you. He's been a man of commitment to the community, working with young people. He's been inspirational. People who feel worthless, he actually gives them hope. Whether it be bringing people up, lifting people up, helping our communities move forward. They want love, they want sympathy, they want empathy, they want healing and restoring. It ain't a sprint race, it's a marathon. This boy was given up on. You know, he wasn't supposed to be a, a famous opera singer. You're supposed to be a woman beater. You know, you're supposed to be a drug addict, an alcoholic. How dare you break the cycle? Well, in this case, he smashed it to smithereens. You give him a dollar, he'll get $100 back and, and what he does with other people. An incredible and wonderful person, a real jewel in our crown, if you like, in terms of Hawke's Bay, and one that you know, we, we're very proud of. I think in every one of the stories that I have the opportunity, the privilege to tell, they see themselves in that, they see a bit of Philip in them, they see a bit of the, the freezing worker in them, they see a bit of the foster children in them. Hanari's right up there, he speaks from the heart, he engages the audience, people go away saying wow, and I've never seen it any different in any speech he's ever given. When Hinari speaks, he brings the house down. He connects with each individual person, you feel his heart, you feel the warmth of his stories, and you walk away feeling motivated to change. And if you want to make a difference in your team and your business, Henry's the man. Standing ovations have become the norm, you know, and it's not deliberately manufactured, it's just, and People are crying in tears. I want them to, to leave the room with a spring in their step. I want them to leave a room having, wanting to take, take what they experienced in that room and take it home, take it to their, their friends, their family, to their organisation and put it into practice really. I welcome you to get in touch with me if you need a motivational speaker, a master of ceremonies, or someone to work with you in your community or groups in your company. I look forward to hearing from you.